So here's a conversation with uh, Pitbull and some others. I, I just don't know who they are. And uh, they're speaking about a number of things that are religiously connected. And I'd like to speak about it. Man, I believe in God. But one of the stories out of the Bible, one of the most famous stories is what? Is, is Adam and Eve. Mm. What did Eve bite? Uh, she bit the apple. Look at the logo on your phones. It's a big mm. apple. So therefore, everybody biting that right now. You know what I said on the rhyme? I said, most people holding their phones, it's like they two hands holding your phone. It's like you pray to it. Yeah. Think about it. Like it's that's true. what you're, uh, you're actually doing. You're actually sitting there and praying to this device. It's a cell phone, there. baby. It's, it's, it's a cell phone for a reason. You're prisoner to the phone. You're in the cell. You know why it's worse than dope? Because at some point on dope or on any other substance, Abuse, you actually realize that you're hitting rock bottom. You will never realize you're hitting rock bottom. On but they said in, in Social Dilemma, he has a great line that says, you don't know, how are you going to know the matrix if you don't know you're in the matrix? The only two industries that call their customers users is software drugs. companies and drug drugs. drugs. Illegal drugs. We live in a world of criticizing thinkers. I come from a world of being a critical thinker. I like to listen. I like to look at shit, break it down. And then so when someone gets to talking, you go, okay, that's cool. I appreciate that. And I... I acknowledge your opinion, but what about this? So, um, Pitbull, I acknowledge your opinion, but what about this? I'm going to replay the video, and then we're going to break it line by line to see how much irrationality is in this video. My main issue with stuff like this is these individuals sit there and talk, and they think they're talking about something intelligent. They think they're onto something, where in reality, they're saying the most absurd things that you could possibly say. Or they might be saying right stuff with all the wrong justifications. And so what they need to do is go back and revisit these things and then just say whatever it is that they're saying, rather than try to somehow break it down into, look at this and that. So we'll break it down and we'll speak about it line by line, okay? So we're going to think about it. We're going to critically analyze, as the video suggests for us to do. And then you're going to realize not everything you see on the internet is worth sharing, is worth liking, is worth commenting. I'm not religious, man. I believe in God. But one of the stories out of the Bible, one of the most famous stories is what? Is, is Adam and Eve. Mm. What did Eve bite? Uh, she bit the apple. Look at the logo on your phone. Okay, so the first claim is I'm not a religious man. Cool, you're not religious. It, it just also seems to me that you don't know the Bible. Okay. What did uh, the famous story is Adam and Eve? What did Eve bite? What did Adam and Eve eat? The apple. Um, no, no, they didn't. No, they did not. Adam and Eve, no such thing is mentioned in the Bible. The Bible says fruit. That is a societal myth that they ate an apple. It is a cultural myth that was developed in like the second, third century by a commentator on the text, but is not in the text. But he goes from that to say, what's the logo on your phone? It's, it's a bitten apple. Even if that was true, the phone was not Apple's in initial product that they launched. So to focus so much like, oh, your phone is has you in a prison or something like that, they're going to go on to speak about that. It wasn't even the initial thing they made. They made other things, computers, home computers. So it, again, just the very basic logic of this, the very basic breakdown of this shows these dudes are either insanely high uh, and they're just kind of sitting there and pontificating and thinking they're saying smart stuff or just extremely ignorant. But let's move on. It's a big mm -hmm. apple. So therefore, everybody biting that mm -hmm. right now. You know what I said on the rhyme? I said, most people holding their phones, it's like they two hands holding your phone. It's like you pray to it. Yeah. You think about it. Like it's that's true. what you're, uh, you're actually doing. You're actually sitting there and praying to this device. So you are not. You are not praying when you're using a device or anything that you're holding with two hands. Okay? You're just not. You're not accidentally praying to stuff. This is the most ignorant comment, <laughs> maybe in this video, I'm not sure. But hey, look at that. I might be able to read a book, and I'm holding it with two hands. And does that mean I'm praying to the book? No, it's just some things require you to use both your hands. 
like, <laughs> some things really require you to hold bo with both of your hands. Okay. That's just the reality of it. Um, you're not accidentally praying to your phone. None of that stuff. Now, if you want to talk about how like social media and we're trapped in our phones and we use it too much, we shouldn't be using it as much as we're using it. That's fine. But the analogies and the reasons and just justifications you give is just extremely important. And just don't do it when you don't know how to reason well. Now, no, notice the next line. The next line is hilarious. He says it's it's a cell phone. It's called a cell phone. So maybe it's, it's, a, it's a cell phone for a reason. You're prisoner to the phone. You're in a cell. You know why it's worth it? <laughs> it's a cell phone for a reason because... You're a prisoner to it, like in a cell, a uh, pit bull. Cellular, like has to do with cells. Okay, not, not a cell, like a prison cell. Cellular. That, that's why it's called a cell phone. It's, it's shortened from cellular. Just again, and, and by the way, like it, how, this video has been shared. Look, look at that. It's got 800, it was posted on July 9th, 862,596 likes. I don't know how many times it's been shared, but I, I, I bet you anything, it's been shared tons and tons of times. We cannot be this ignorant, guys. We cannot have nine, almost 900,000 people, 860,000 people, who think these individuals that are sitting there, that again, like I said, are probably high, are saying anything that is intelligent and worthwhile. Okay. It says it's worse than dope. Maybe it is. That that might be true. Maybe it is worse than dope. I'm, I'm I don't I don't think so, but it's dope because at some point on dope or on any other substance abuse, you actually realize that you're hitting rock bottom. You will never realize you're hitting rock bottom. On but they said it, it's so that's that's not true. You, you will realize you've hit rock bottom on social media. That's not true. It, it gets treated like any other, any other addiction. If you're addicted to it, so the dilemma, he has a great line. It says, "You don't know how you're going to know the matrix if you don't know you're in the matrix." Only two in. The how are you going to know you're in the matrix? Unless you're in the matrix, like, isn't the whole point of knowing you're in the matrix when you're come out of the matrix? I don't know. I'm just confused about that. Uh, he, he, this gentleman goes on to speak about the two to do to, to the two industries that call their uh, their customers users. Industries that call their customers users is software drugs. companies and drug drugs. drugs, illegal drugs. We live in a world of that. that that's because people are using the device. And their software, uh, and and the other one is because they're they're using the drugs. Um, correlation doesn't call is not doesn't mean causation. It's very basic logic, guys. Very basic. And I'm not saying this for these gentlemen. I'm more saying this for the eight hundred fifty odd thousand people that have think this is decent. Criticizing thinkers. I come from a world of being a critical thinker. I like to. There is zero critical thinking going on in this video. I might add, like, none. Just because you have an idea doesn't mean it's a good idea. Oh man, I'm so original there. It's such a good idea. It, yeah, bad idea. Throw it in the trash. If you want to be a critical thinker, read a critical thinking book. Read a logic book. Train yourself to think logically on a subject. Questioning and, and like criticizing is fine. Maybe it gets you to a certain place. But if you think you're like somehow your ideas are novel, right? Like your, your ideas are these, these, these new things that nobody's thought about. I guarantee you much smarter people than you have thought about it. And especially these sorts of things have been shown to be just complete and utter nonsense. Listen, I like to look at shit, break it down, and then so when someone get to talking, you go, okay, that's cool. I appreciate that, and I, I acknowledge your opinion, but what about this? Yeah, and we'll go with that. We acknowledge you guys' ideas. 
their ideas. And I probably shouldn't be recorded and most likely shouldn't be put on the internet anyways. Their ideas, and I might add, almost all of it are horrendously bad ideas.